Hey everybody, and welcome back to another episode of The Outer Worlds. So in this episode, I'm going to be focusing on a side quest that I was given in order to complete the main quest. Um, it revol involves me going after the, going into a warehouse and getting something called a Bolt 52. Uh, before I start properly though, if you could leave a like and a comment for the video, it would be very greatly appreciated. Now then, uh, where I am... I I assume I just go this way. Before I do that though, better hit the workbench. And um, yes. Anything interesting? Uh, reduces noise of each shot. Not really concerned about that. Oh, so ch it does change the visual, like the visual sort of look of it. That's interesting. Didn't know that. That doesn't, though. Uh, damage type. Shock. So, does that make... Does that make it... Do more damage? What's going on? No, let me install it. I'll install that too. Why not? For now, anyway. Alright, so, Tinker. Ah, right. Uh, I've spent all my money. Okay, to do list. Uh, right. Well, I'm pretty much done there. I should look into upgrading some of the, you know, equipment my companions have. I haven't really looked at their guns properly in a bit, I don't think. Then again, I think they're pretty okay, yeah. I think they sort of level up, kind of. Depending on when I sort of add them to the group. So, yeah. Damage 48, damage 22 times 3. Hmm. Yeah, I think their guns are okay. The Halcyon Observer. I am surprised they haven't unlocked a different loading screen by now. Like, I've done stuff. I nicked all those corporates, uh, corporate secrets from Terra 2. From, like, Roseway. That hasn't been reported. The news service in Halcyon sucks. Yeah, that looks cool. That uh, the changes to the revolver. Uh, I'm curious. I might like go and get a few extra mods just to see how they change the look of the gun. Yeah, it's really... that's really detailed, too, because it's reflecting a lot of the stuff to the side of me, off the barrel. That's impressive. Shot that thing right in the head. Alright, what's shooting at me? Or do I just have that, like, acid sort of status effect? Yeah, I think it was just the acid status effect. That being said, there are a lot of these fuckers around.
All right, I have to go in the bill. Oh, what's this? I. Yeah, I don't want that either. Hey, um, actually, yeah, this might be a problem. Uh, right, go down tech. Uh, is it tech stealth? Stealth is what I need. Bugger. Right, let's try and boom. <laughs> yeah, that's probably not the smartest thing to do, but screw it. Uh, right, what's this? Yeah, I'll go for that. I can do with a carrying capacity bonus. Okay, I have no idea what to expect in this building. Because that guy really was emphasizing arms. So that's, uh... That's not good. Hello? Uh, who's in there? Oh, thank the Eternal. I'm Huxley. Ah, uh, Hux, if you're lazy. I'm stuck. My friends and I were scavenging here, and a Mana Queen showed up, then Rathodon, who's a void blasted man. I ran in here, and, um, now the door's locked. Little help? You got locked in? How? Well, I need to get in that room. Phew. Thanks, mister. My buddy had a key, but I ain't heard him in a while. He locked me in here and took off. Probably got munched. So look for a dead guy, I guess. Or a rat. Maybe it's in a rat belly. Gross. Seeing as you're trapped, you might as well answer a few things for me. Who are you? Huxley. I'm an Iconoclast runner. The Iconoclast runner. Fast as we've got. Ain't a raptodon on this void forsaken hellhole that can catch me. I'm... Uh, I'm... <sighs> Sorry. Put me in a tiny room like this and I'm liable to flip. Not keen on tight spaces, you know? Tell me about the Iconoclasts. So, do you get locked in closets often? My buddy locked me in here. I told you that. It was for my safekeeping, on account of Rapidons wanting to munch on my head. But, I mean, okay, yes, fine. I get myself into sticky situations. It's just part of the life, all right? Sometimes you gotta hide in a trash can so you don't get eaten by monsters. Wait, really? That wasn't serious. Alright, I'm looking for a Bolt 52. Any lying around in there? Probably. I don't know. When I try to read things, my mind gets to wandering about all the things I could be doing instead. Alright, well, I'll be back in a sec. Get me out of here! Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. A freaking... What? I have to look in something... Oh, right. Have I already killed it? 
Oh, that wasn't hard. Run back now. Ah, phew. Thank you so much. It was getting all stuffy in there, and I was getting a mite lightheaded, and I think maybe I was gonna die. Now I'm out here, and I'm headed back to Amber Heights. Still landing yourself in trouble, eh, Hux? Oh, hi, Nyoka. Um, you mind giving me an escort back home? I'm... Oh, you're traveling with someone. Never mind. You sure you're okay to travel? Oh, sure. I'm a runner. I'm used to getting all dizzy and... Hey, who is your identical, slightly blurry friend? Normally, when you help someone, they give you something for their trouble. I ain't got nothing on me. How's about a heaping helping of appreciation and respect? Uh... I can't really buy ammo with appreciation and respect. Uh, that's true. Okay, fine. Here. Alright, well, good luck getting home. Thanks a lot, mister. All right, so that's the cartridge. Don't see why it's so important, but whatever. I'll take some of the guns too. It all helps. Okay, so fast travel back to Stella Bay. Give this guy his thingy-majiggy. And that's pretty much it. I hope. Then again, it's a cartridge. So it's probably going to be inserted into something. And who wants to bet that whatever it needs to be inserted into is not inside the city walls. Just hazarding a guess there. You know? But that's probably going to be it. He's like, ah, now that you've got the cartridge, can you go to this place and do this for me? It's like, yeah, fuck you. Come on, load! Oh, cool. What the? What's this person's problem? I almost said guy then. It is a woman, right? Yeah. I couldn't tell for a second. Okay, Nandy. Here's your cartridge. Now, if we were like the other corporations, you wouldn't be allowed to run around dressed like one of Graham's minions. But we're better than that. See? Anyway, what can I do for you? I found the cartridge. Oh, yes. I'm going to be up all night with this. All those blanks waiting to be filled, boxes waiting to be ticked. Try to control yourself, sir. Have you any idea how powerful this is? Corporations have been toppled with less. How exactly is a data cartridge going to help? What a question! Bureaucratic micromanagement is the only way anything gets done in Halcyon, and proper documentation is a key part of that. For our part, a bill of liquidation slash transfer form 52 will protect our holdings on Monarch by temporarily assigning them to a pass-through entity once we drop our bomb on the board. Yes, finally. The board will get their comeuppance. Sort of. Really, we're just going to blackmail them into offering us a seat at the table. But really, whatever gets you excited about the idea, it's definitely a firm middle finger. Ah, uh, I can get behind that. That's what I like to hear. I have reason to believe that one of the other corporations is operating on Monarch. Illegally and in secret. Those bastards. Leave us to our perils, then come back just to reap what they can. If we can find proof, I can use that as leverage to... Encourage certain powers that be to accept our Bolt 52 and reinstate us on the board. Sanja, you sly dog. You really think so? Don't encourage him. I admit I've been hatching this scheme for quite some time. I just needed someone capable to help me carry it out. 
If someone is operating here, then Catherine's almost certainly supplying them out of Fallbrook. Perhaps she could be convinced to tell you where they are. Well, I know how I have a good idea, rather, than how to make people talk. Oh, I imagine you do. But as much as I love your can-do attitude and dangerous gravitas, Catherine handles all of our shipments. So it would be best if you could leave her in one piece. Is that how you people put it? Uh, close enough. Once you uh, subtly work out where this corporate facility might be, bring back proof of its operation. Maybe some nice letterhead. Or someone working there. That would do it. Infiltrate a secret corporate base and kidnap the staff. Sure. Easy. A foolproof plan if I ever heard one. I'll leave the execution to you. Well, um... Yeah, well, that's pretty much it. Ah, uh, thought there'd be something else. It's never just one and done with these people. Goddamn corporate stooges. Uh... Okay, where am I going? Follow up with Catherine Mallon. Alright, back to Fallbrook, which thankfully I can fast travel to, so I don't have to keep fucking around. And I, d I just remembered too, my ship's not at Stella Bay, it's at Fallbrook, so I could have gone to the other place first. Not that it matters, It'll, I'll need to go there anyway. It's not an either-or situation, this. It's a and. As in Stella Bay and Ember Heights. Uh. Cool though. I am enjoying the game. Even if I do bitch and moan quite a bit. Okay, so... Persuade Catherine to give me the information I need and don't beat the shit out of her, murder her, maim her, or disfigure her in any way. I think I can do that. Speaking to my left ear, will you? Right one's damaged. Last we talked, I only got half of what you said. Well, I'm half listening. Sanja said you know something about a corporation operating in secret on Monarch? Might be I know something about it. Might be someone hired my crew to blind drop supplies on the Northern Bridge. Might be they sure as shit weren't pirates. Now that I consider it, I ain't heard from my delivery team in far too long. Find them for me, and I'll pay you handsome. Come on, that's all you know. And here I thought we were friends. We are friends, but them who push me end up dead. Look, I don't know if this is related, but it ain't escaped my notice that one of my regulars been lingering a little too long at the gambling bar. She's been acting twitchy, even for her. Ask at the bar about a customer who shows up bi-weekly. My staff may know more. All right, well, thanks, Catherine. You don't look like a smuggler nor a dandy. Catherine send you back here? On second thought, it's best if I don't know. What's your order? Got any... Actually, no, I'm not drinking. Uh, no order, just need information on a regular twitchy. Might be corporate. Let me think back. Yeah, I got a regular who's been twitchier than normal lately. Every time she bets, she loses big. Then she pounds a mountain of daiquiris upstairs. You ought to ask Yvonne. 
She'd know Ms. Twitchy better than me. All right. Well, thanks. Who's Yvonne? Oh, upstairs. Really? Another bar? Two bars in the same building? Folks I never met before are my most favorite kind. So, what's your story? Uh, I'm looking for someone. Twitchy burns through decorous when she loses big. Well, that does ring a bell. I remember one lady. She never penned a name in the book. Her friend Huxley placed the collateral for her. Huxley's with the iconoclasts. Know of her? She's not quite all there. Huxley drinks here? I'm surprised she can operate the door when she's hammered. <laughs> Does give her trouble from time to time. Once she got stuck in the bathroom, had to break a window to get out. Anywho, she's probably in Amber Heights with the rest of Graham's iconoclast folks. Right, well, thanks. So, Huxley. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, right, where am I going? Where is Amber Heights? What? What's this? What? <laughs> uh, is that Amber Heights? Alright, let me check my journal. Uh, speak with Huxley and investigate the drop-off point. And they're both pretty much on the way, so screw it. I'll check the drop-off point on the way to Amber Heights. I thought it would be further away from Stella Bay, but clearly not. It's just down the road. Weird. Considering they're meant to be, like, uh, opposing forces, opposing co uh, companies or whatever. Alright, which one's closest? Uh, that is, so it's this way. Oh, what's going on? Shit. He snuck up on me pretty well. I'm guessing this is the team. What's left of it? This one guy. Well now, here I thought those mantisaurs had peacefully exited the premises. But you're a simpler explanation. Thanks for the assistance. Name's Weston. Every once in a while, I set up shop along these here roads. You find yourself in need of resupply, you come on by. Care to purchase a thing or two? Uh, no. Alright, so that's not him. Ah, they're down there. Who, who are these guys? These randos. I can't see, but people look dead. Well, there's no one down there, so I'm guessing they are dead. How do I get down there? Without, you know, murdering myself. Oh god. Oh, well, that was very close, wasn't it? Take my reputation on this being an ambush. Bunch of the trail of blood leads away from the outer the auto loader. The outer loader in the center.
I haven't got the foggiest idea where this will lead. I'm guessing it's just some kind of marauder den hidden. Like marauder base, maybe. That's what it looks like, considering there's a bunch of dead marauders up there. I'll be very surprised if it's not a marauder base. There are traps. It looks like a marauder base. Mines and everything. Can I turn these off? Oh, boy. What was that? Oh, I tripped it. What does that mean, though? <laughs> All right, reach for the sky, dirt bag. Stay back. I may be wounded. But I'm still armed. How'd you get past my traps anyway? I've got moves, let's just say. Just remember, I still got bullets. In case you get any funny ideas. What are you doing out here anyway? Ellie, can you help this guy with his wounds? I assume you mean patch him up, not make him bigger. Okay, hold still or this is gonna hurt. Hurt. That feels a mite better. Wish I had something to give you, but I knocked through my last sprat worst an hour ago. What's with all the traps? A cave like this makes a handy place to store goods or hide out for a spell. And the traps usually keep gawkers out. I want to know what happened here. Catherine had us making drops for some big shot client out here. And before you ask, I don't know who they are, or were. The whole point of making drops in the middle of nowhere was to keep their identity and whereabouts a secret. You think they're dead? The Marauders knew we were coming. Rigged the bridge with explosives and everything. If they found us, my guess is they found the client too. Where did the Marauders go? Last I saw, they were heading back up the hill. You'll see it on the right when you get out of here. If you've got the sand to go after him, I'm sure Catherine can reward you for your trouble. Me? I'm headed back to Fallbrook, just as soon as I've caught my breath. Alright, I'm gonna take some of this shit. A uh, scythe. Another scythe. To go with the one I got. Uh, empty all this stuff, and some of this stuff. And some of that stuff. I'm not going to bother hacking that. Or oh, pick locking or lock picking. That's one. Uh, grab that, that, that. Some of this, some of that. Alright, it's all pretty much gone now. Um, back out I go. Is there an another way out here, I wonder? No. I have to go this way. Ugh. So I'm going to have to try and take a look for these marauders. At least get like an idea of where they went. Hmm. Of course it purely depends on when the game decides to load. Right. Okay, not that far, actually. Alright, my 
going the right way? Yeah, I am. Cool. Okay, collect some of this and some of that. No, I no idea where to go now. Uh, up, right up there. Upstairs. Oh, hello. Oh, she did. Oh, she's back up again. That's partly done. Uh, let me get out of here. So the next one I have to do is go and see Huxley at Amber Heights, which isn't that far. Uh, sort of. I mean, I can fast travel there. I can actually go on a straight line, maybe. Maybe, kind of. Uh, well, for now, though, that's pretty much it. I'm going to call it a day here. Thank you all for watching this episode. I've made some progress, like quite a bit of progress, I think, in this episode. Um, if you could leave a like and a comment down below, that would help a great deal. Um, for now though, that's pretty much it. So until the next episode, you take care.